Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I am looking at a high voltage unit for a Wells Gardner 6100. This one I took it out of the box and I did the usual. I replaced some of the caps. I didn't replace this one. I should do that. And I replaced the pot because these pots are always bad for some reason. It's a 25K pot. And I put it in. I set the B plus uh, to, to 180 volts. And it ran great and looked perfect for about three minutes. And then all of a sudden it just flamed out. This resistor right there flamed out. It's a 15 ohm resistor. And we got to figure out why that thing was overcurrented and decided to flame out. I've tested the transistors. The transistors were good. I pulled and tested these transistors. They were fine. I replaced I replaced them as I tested them. As I, I, they're just pennies a piece, you know. So I just wanted to pull them, test them, and see if they were good or not. And they were, so I just put them back in the board. And now we got to figure out our B plus circuit. Our B plus regulation circuit works fine, which video B plus comes in right here. Okay, it's filtered there. Video B plus 56K. Yeah. And then it comes down through here. And it comes right, there's a Zener diode right here, which is bleeding off 150 volts. So we have 33 here, and that's adjusting, that's in the adjustment circuit. So we got current coming down through here, and then the rest of it coming through here. Is this thing open? Did it open? Why is this thing getting too much current? If this thing opened, then all that current would come down through here. But we're still being able to regulate our 180 volts. It kind of tells me this is fine. This transformer, okay, that current comes down through here. It comes through there, through here. And what do we have here? Is this some kind of a current regulation circuit with this transformer? Is this just driving this? Kind of complex. We have a 555, which is creating a pulse probably right here, which is creating creating a, a pulse here for this transformer. High voltage, or a little driver transformer, which will drive this little transistor that's on the side here. And that, this is just kind of clamping this, I believe. So that is the current driver for this transformer. What if this isn't working? This current path is just not going to have this path. So it's all going to Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
I'm going to look at this a little bit off camera and try to understand what's going on here. Well, I found the bad part. This guy. D901. Right there, D901. What D901 is doing is blocking current going back through this circuit from down here. It's 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 just blocking that and it's allowing current through here. Well, if it's shorted, there's an overcurrent situation apparently and it fried that resistor. Yeah, this thing if I can do this and let me see if I can do this I don't think I can maybe there and if I flip it around and test this way same reading garbage so I replaced that guy, I think we'll be good to go. That was just, that short right there was just causing an overcurrent situation on this resistor and it fried it. So I got to find out what this thing is and make sure I put in a suitable replacement. So let me, uh, D901, I've got my parts list here. D901 is HS diode, diode HS, goodness gracious, it is MR1 1600 8138, at least I can read it. So I'll do some research on this. What is this? I've got some I've got some diodes that might replace this. So let me uh, let me look into that. All right, cell phone video time. I did find a suitable replacement. It's actually an exact replacement. This is the original right here. MR1 1600, 1600 volt. You can see right here, high current handling, one amp. It's a one amp diode, medium recovery. It's not fast recovery, it's just medium. Low forward voltage. So we're looking for a one amp, 1600 volt. Forward voltage of Um, 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 um. Uh, reverse forward recovery time. Here we go. Maximum instantaneous forward voltage at one amp. Looking at a max 1.1 volts. Typical right under one volt. So looking at a, a forward volt voltage drop of about one volt one amp 1600 volts okay so here i'm on mauser and i've found this guy right here and if we look at the data sheet on this we will see that it is a one amp 1.1 volt forward voltage and this one is the 1600 volt diode. So that's an exact replacement. It's a damper diode is what it is. So there you go. I got those things ordered and I'm going to have to put this on hold until I get them. All right. Yeah, I just uh, showed you that video of going on to mauser.com and finding the diodes and ordering diodes. And I did remember I do have this parts chassis here. 
it's all cracked and stuff so I just pulled the diode off of there that damper diode the 901 diode I just pulled that off it's right here and here's the old one this one's a MR1-1400 so this is a 1400 this one is just a few you know 200 volts less than this one it's the same thing though it's just a high voltage uh, rectifier basically but this one I'm not going to be able to do this probably there's no voltage drop that way but if I flip it of course you should get your drop and it says it's a 5.31 but it's probably not putting an amp through there I'd say at one amp it probably is a one a one volt voltage drop. So this one, I don't want to mix them up. That one's garbage. This is the good one. I'm going to put this one in there and I'm going to replace that 15 ohm resistor. And we'll be good to go. I might even pull that one out of here. If I don't have a half a watt resistor. We'll see. Okay. I got the two parts in. I did have to remove the resistor from the other cage and put it in here. There's the diode. So those two parts are in and I've cleaned the bottom of the board really good. I went through and I resoldered stuff that needed resoldered. And it, it was really fluxy, and I, I used lacquer thinner to go through and clean it all off. So it's all good to go. We're ready to put this thing back together and give it a shot. Okay, I'm all ready to monitor. I got it in all hooked up. I've got my meter hooked up to it to measure the 180 volts. And I got my space dual board plugged in, so... Give it a shot. See if we get some smoke. All right, 180, that's good. Are we gonna flame out? Will we flame out? Looking great. Yeah, it would have flamed out by now. We are good to go. Sorry about the shaky shaky. Yeah, it would have totally flamed out already, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and let this thing go for a little while and our high voltage, our B plus is sitting right at 181 which is where it's supposed to be. So I'll be back. And by the way, I just wanted to, a uh, little note, this capacitor right here, the bigger one, from the factory, that is a 10 microfarad, 350 volt capacitor. I replaced that with a 10 microfarad, 250 volt capacitor. Why do I go down on the value, you might ask? The reason is because that is filtering this. Two hundred and fifty volt capacitor is plenty good to filter that. And if your pot happens to go bad and your uh, and, and this B plus goes up to like two hundred and sixty volts, well, good if it blows that cap up. That'll tell you exactly what's going on. You know, so I don't worry about that. 
Yeah, but this thing's good to go. It's been on for about 10 minutes now. And she looks great. But I'm going to continue. I'll just let it sit right here and run for about, I don't know, half hour or so. This thing's good to go, though. So that's one high voltage cage fixed. I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next Classic Arcade Repair. Bye for now.